This is from the Millionaire Fast Lane. Our choices have consequences that transcend decades. Every day you make decisions that will ripple through the years. The question is, will your choice ripple to happiness and wealth or depression and poverty? The author MJ DeMarco talks about how he was stupid when he was younger, riding a motorcycle very recklessly and got in a huge accident and is still living with neck pain to this very day. That's just one example of how his decision has rippled through the decades. The second half of the book is getting more interesting. Here's a key concept. Time is your greatest asset, not money. Most people are now wasting their lives on social media. I personally spend quite a lot of time on YouTube from time to time. What he calls time losers are poor evaluators of time. These time losers gladly waste time to save money. Fast laners are frugal with time while slow laners are frugal with money. But the author says time is king. Here's another key concept. What you know today is not enough to get to where you need to be tomorrow. You must constantly reinvent yourself and reinvent invention is education. Turn off the TV, pick up a book, and read it. With non-physical disciplines, books can transform you from novice to expert. So the author says you can't be a professional singer or basketball player from books, but you can become an expert in real estate, web programming, sales, etc. You must seek it, process it, and then use it. The acquisition and application of knowledge will make you rich. Books possess the greatest return for your educational dollar. Buy them or borrow them, just read them. He also suggests to follow YouTube channels where you can learn from those who have succeeded. I think the trap here is that you get into a lot of self-improvement content online and then you don't apply them. So the challenge will be to apply things you have learned from YouTubers who are successful. The best investment you can make is in yourself, so be willing to pay for your education now. Choose a topic that interests you or an area in your life that needs improvement. Not good at sales or writing? Get to the library and start reading. Before I began to write Fastlane, I bought six books relating to publishing, writing, and authoring. Set a goal to read at least 12 books per year or one per month. I can't stress enough that the more knowledge you consume, the more torque you create on the Fastlane road trip. He also says people are lazy. They don't want to read and connect the dots. Talking about the difference between interested and committed, interest reads a book, Commitment applies the book 50 times. Those are some key concepts that I got from this book in today's reading session. Reading that section of the book actually got me to buy another book while I was reading this. I know that if I want to become a solopreneur, I have to learn marketing and sales eventually. And there's a new book that I stumbled upon from a YouTuber, Dan Ko. And from one of the reviews, I found that he does teach some of this stuff that you need as a solopreneur. So the book was actually expensive compared to normal books. It was 40 Canadian dollars but if it teaches me a lot that's a heck of a lot cheaper than a video course or something like that on sales or marketing that costs hundreds of dollars if I could read at least an hour every day that would be a great achievement anyways I'm making my video early today because I am going out for a group dinner tonight some Korean Canadians at least I got my workout in even if I didn't do it first thing in the morning see you tomorrow 1% better every day baby it's been like three weeks since I've come out on my daily walk it's good to get some fresh air and be alone just me and my thoughts some well-needed solitude time as Cal Newport says today is leg day really don't want to do it but let's get it done man let's do this <sighs> <sighs> That was 15 minutes of step ups as slowly as possible, so seven and a half minutes on each leg. Man, I actually got a little sweaty for that one. Mission accomplished. Good morning, Mochi and Tega. Good morning, cuties. Mm, you can't go out, you can't go out. So you're still hurt. You're still hurt, Mochi. You can't go out. Ah! Nope. You're still limping, hmm? Look at your poor leg. You're getting a bit better, I think. Mochi and Tigger are getting some fresh air. 